Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can create this loop in Blender. So let's get started. Add a plane, go to geometry nodes and click on new. Delete the group input and add a cube. Add a subdivision surface node, set the edge crease to 0.6 and the level anywhere from 4 to 6. Add a set shade smooth node, let's also add a set material node, or shift click on this node and add a join geometry node. Select all of these nodes and duplicate them and plug the geometry into the geometry here. Go into wireframe view, for this subdivision surface node let's set the level to 3 and the edge crease to 0.3. Here set the size to 0.35 and on the set to 0.75. Add a transform node, keyframe the rotation, make sure you are on frame 1 by the way. I am going to set the end to 160. Now press Ctrl Tab, make sure X is selected, go to modifiers and select noise. Set the scale to 100, the strength to 5, check restrict frame range and click on the drop down here. Set the end to 160, set the blend in and out to 49.3. Now go here and copy the modifier, paste it to the Y and change the offset and do the same for the set. Now let's save and go to shading, you'll have to use cycles for this. Now go to rendered view, set the max sample to 512. On the film, make it transparent and enable transparent glass. Under color management, set the fillings from to filmic and the look to very high contrast. I'm going to put a link to the HDI that I'm using in the description. Set the strength to 2.5. Make sure you have the glass material selected and delete the principal BSDF. Add a glass BSDF. Let's also add a mix shader. Add a transparent BSDF. Set the factor to 0.75. Add a noise texture. Make sure to use the factor. Set the scale to 100 and the detail to 15. Add a color ramp. Bring the black into somewhere around here. Now let's make the white a dark gray. I don't know if you can see this but now we have this very light noise. Plug the factor into the normal and add a bump node. Use the height and set the strength to 0.01. Now let's select the second material. Again delete the principal PSDF and add a glass PSDF. Add a mix shader node. And again add a transparent node. Let's also add a volume scatter node. Set the density to 1000. Add a color ramp. Plug the color into this factor here and into the color here. Go here and set it to HSL. Now make the black red and the white blue. Also set it to clockwise. Duplicate the color ramp and plug the color into the color of the glass BSDF and into the volume scatter. Add another color ramp, flip it, bring the white into somewhere around here and the black here. Plug the color into the factor here. Duplicate it and flip it again. Now plug the color in here, add a wave texture, plug the color into the factor here and here. Set the distortion to 7. If the wave texture is selected press Ctrl T. Use the object output. Set it from brands to rings and set it to spherical. Add a bump node. Plug the normal into the normal of the glass BSDF. Set the strength to 0 0.01. Add a math node set to multiply. Add a noise texture. Set the scale to 6 and the detail to 15. Now duplicate it and plug the factor into the bottom value. Set the scale to 100. Save again and go back to layout mode. Press delete on the numpad. Now 1 and 6 3 times and 2 twice. Add a camera. Press control or 0 and press G and Z twice. Move it back like this and press G and Z and move it up. Now press F12 to render one of the images. Close this window and go to compositing. Enable use nodes and denoising data and add a denoise node. Add a glow node. Set it to fog glow and to high. Now add a mix node. Set the factor to 0.03. Add a texture node. In the texture properties click on new. Set it to clouds, set the size to 0 and select it here. In the output properly select an output folder. I'm going to use JPEG with the quality set to 100%. Save again and press Ctrl F12. Feel free to like and subscribe. If you like this tutorial then you're probably also going to like the one that is on screen now. I'll see you next time.